Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be my weekly wax empties. So I have a little bit to go through today, but not a ton. So I think this should hopefully be a shorter video. Um, I do have a hand soap that I finished, so I figured I would go through and start with that first. So this is the hand soap that we did finish up this week. This is Blueberry Crumble from Bath & Body Works. I really enjoyed this scent. It was a very good, like, just sugary blueberry. It was kind of like a bakery uh, style scent. And this one is fresh blueberries, brown sugar, uh, glaze, and a dash of cinnamon. So those are the scent notes. This was really nice. The name is definitely spot on. It does smell like a blueberry crumble or like a blueberry, like, crisp or something. Ugh, it is so yummy. So this one I would definitely repurchase again. Um, probably not like this year, even if they have it out, I'll probably wait until next year to get it, but it was really nice. And I do, you know, recommend that one if you guys are into like blueberry. Um, I did finish up some Scentsy bars. I have two. Um, they're both the ones from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. So this one is Halloween Town. This one I rather enjoyed. I did this in our open concept area. And this smells so good. It's kind of like, almost has like a mulled cider vibe to me, kind of. I wish I knew the scent notes. It's a really good scent though. Like it's got like some like spice to it. Oh, it's so good. Like this just makes me think of like, it almost has like winterberry apple tea vibes. If you guys have tried that scent from Scentsy, it kind of reminds me of that. Like it's just kind of like a warm cozy but it has like apple in here I believe it's just a really good one um I did put this one in my club because I love it and of course it's Nightmare Before Christmas so I obviously need it but it smells good so obviously I'm happy to have it in there but I love that one very much um and then this next one I was rather scared to melt this one because I hadn't heard a lot of good things and I mainly purchased this one because it was like a new a new scent for this year and it was also like a nightmare before christmas theme so i just kind of like purchased it just to try it and this was okay i wouldn't say it was horrible i don't think i'd repurchase it but i'm at least happy i guess i bought a bar to try it this is roll of the dice and this one is like a masculine it's got like citrus in here it's like mahogany citrus and like is it like cedar wood or something I forgot exactly. It's a very, very unique scent. It's not my favorite, but it also wasn't, you know, like repulsive or something. Like it wasn't something that I had to like turn my warmers off. I melted it and it was fine, but it was nothing overly exciting and nothing that I enjoyed a ton. Like it was okay, but I wouldn't get this one again. So definitely not my favorite, but it wasn't horrible. It just was okay, I guess. So I have two clamshells. So the first one here is from Southbound. This is blueberry pie crust. It's blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla um, with just a hint of sweet sugar blended with rich buttery baked pie crust. And this one was all right. I guess I wish like more of that blueberry came out. I smell the blueberry, but I feel like I get a lot of that strawberry as well. And this one too on warm was kind of like a light medium. It wasn't super strong. I even had this going in like our open, open concept area. I put two cubes in each of my warmers, like in our open area. And even still, I just, I could smell it a teeny bit, but it wasn't as strong as I would have liked. So for that reason, I wouldn't repurchase this one, but I was at least happy to try that. So that is the first clam I finish. And then this next one is from Fantasy Wax Melts. This is 13 Ghosts, which is mulled cider. And I do enjoy like a nice apple cider, mulled cider type of scent. And this one's not bad. I do enjoy this one. And this one I actually did in our bathroom. I just, anytime there's like a nice like mulled cider or like strong apple scent like a note that's really strong of apple in my blends I usually will try to if I have you know if I'm able to and I have enough of it or something I will put that in like our bathroom as well and I do I thought this was really nice in the bathroom because that that space is like small so it filled up the space really nice and I thought it was very like fall appropriate 
So I did enjoy this one. I wouldn't repurchase it right now. I just have so much like apple, like mold cider types of scents. But if it came back like next year or something, I would consider getting it definitely. So actually, let me put that down there. So I did enjoy that one quite a bit. Um, I have four little like one ounce little shot cups from Fantasy Wax Melts as well. Um, I'll start with the two that I enjoyed. There's two here, two that I did melt that I didn't really get much out of, but I will talk about those. So the first one I went through was this one, which is Haunted Mansion. It's Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. This one was really nice. I did this one in my office and I enjoyed it quite a bit. So I have enough Blueberry Pumpkin Patch in my collection, so I definitely don't need any more. But if it came out next year, I probably would consider getting it. I like a blueberry. And it was a really nice, like, little scent shot to throw in my office warmer. So I really liked that. It was kind of a nice change. Um, I feel like I don't do a ton of, like, blueberry and stuff in the office. Most of the time, if I do blueberry or, like, fruity scents, a lot of the time it's, like, in my open concept area. I feel like in my office I normally have, like full-on bakery or full-on coffee going so that was a nice like little switch up that I did and I did enjoy it um this next one was really nice I liked this one I did this one like in our kitchen um this is Nightmare on Elm Street it's apple butterscotch cake and this one is just a nice kind of like even like apple to butterscotch kind of blend I feel like you smell both of the notes of that in there I really did enjoy this one um, I had this one going with another one of these scent shots because I thought they would kind of like complement each other. But I could smell this one more. Like this is the one I smelled more and like this one kind of took over the other one because I couldn't smell the other one like at all. So I did enjoy this one. Um, but that one, the one that I couldn't really smell was this one, which is Scream. And this one is Rich Musk Pear and a Hint of Nuts. This one smells fabulous on cold. Like, I like this one a lot. But on warm, I sadly couldn't smell anything. Like, I even got really close to my warmers and it wasn't, like, I barely got a throw. So, sadly, this one did not really work out well, but I did finish that. Um, and then I did get through this one as well. This is Halloween, which is candy corn. Um, I had this going in like a smaller space. I actually, not going to lie, I put this in a bathroom. <laughs> I normally don't put sweet scents in a bathroom, but I just had like this little sun shot cup and it fits perfect into like mini warmers. So I just kind of like left that bathroom door open. It's a bathroom that we really don't use that much anyways, but I was also getting ready in there while I had this going. So I thought it would be kind of like a nice, just like fun scent to just kind of throw in there because I was getting ready and like, you know, I had it um, in the bathroom, like I said, with the door open. So I thought maybe it would kind of go into the bedroom a little bit and fill up some of the space, but I didn't smell anything. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. I don't know if it was just my nose that day, but I couldn't smell this and I'm kind of bummed because it smells so good. It smells like a nice, like sweet candy corn. And normally like candy corn is not my favorite not gonna lie I'm not like the biggest fan of candy corn I'll eat like a piece and that's like it I don't need that much I don't really I don't know candy corn is not my first choice but on like on in wax form it smells really good it smells like a sweet just candy I don't know it was something different and I thought it would be nice to try out but I don't know if it was just because I did it in a mini warmer it just didn't perform that well I don't know, but that one was kind of a dud for me, unfortunately, so I wouldn't get that one again. Um, so the last scent shot cup is this one from Midnight Daydream Wax Co. This is Haunted Beach. It's Beechwood, Vetiver, Haunted Hayride, and Crushed Leaves. I had this going in our bathroom, like our main, like bigger bathroom, and this was so good. Ugh, it's such a nice, fresh scent. If this comes back at some point, I probably would get more maybe like next year because I feel like this would be nice even to like throughout like like an open concept area or something like if you're like kind of cleaning or getting some stuff done. I sometimes like to melt like fresh scents or like clean scents, I guess you could say. Like if I'm sometimes organizing or cleaning around the apartment or something, sometimes I'll just throw one in. And this is one of the ones I feel like I would definitely put in like in that time because it smells so good. 
it's I can't even point out what it is about this scent that I love like I just loved everything it was just very fresh it was strong I yeah I rather enjoyed that one and I kind of just ordered that on a whim I just you know wanted to try like a fresh type of scent from Midnight Daydream and I was blown away by that one I really really loved it so I would get more of that one down the road for sure Okay, so finally we got our like little bags here. So I have, let me separate these. Okay, so I did finish up two from Rose Girls. The first one is this one. They're both kind of like similar. They both have ghoul friends in the name. So I have this one, which is Lattes with Ghoul Friends. And this is her like ghoul friends blend, which is uh, like the, co uh, the coffee, not the coffee. It's like the pumpkin sugar donuts and cookies. Uh, like, yeah. It has like vanilla wafers, all that stuff in it. It has that mixed with like a coffee note. And this was really, really yummy. Um, if this one came out in like a mini melter bag or something at some point, if she offers this, I would get this again. This was really fabulous. I love uh, carbs with ghoul friends. So to have that mixed with like, like that ghoul friends note mixed with coffee. Oh my God. This was delicious. So I really loved this one. I had this going in my office. It was very strong, so I liked that one quite a bit. And then obviously I have my carbs with ghoul friends. I did just repurchase this, um, and I believe you guys will have seen that already in my Rose Girls haul, but this one is pumpkin sugar donuts, cookies, bread, vanilla bean Noel, Nilla wafers, monster cookie, and marshmallow smoothie. If you like pumpkin, you like bakery, I feel like you will definitely like this one. It is so good. It's a scent that's raved about, and I understand why. It's delicious. So, finish that one up. I'm sad to see it go, but I do have more. So, you know, happy about that. This one I did in our open concept area, and it literally, it was like the best thing. It was so good. And this one I've had since like January, I believe. And even though I haven't melted it in months, you know, it's been forever since I've melted this, it still smelled really strong to me. So, you know, that was a plus as well. I was almost worried that like it wouldn't smell much anymore, but it smelled, smelled good to me. So I really did enjoy the performance and the scent of that, of course. Um, I have this little small break me bar that I had from Birdies Making Sense. This one I did in our bedroom before like our nighttime melt. This was Time to Relax, which is Lavender, Spearmint, Eucalyptus Spearmint. This one was good. I have realized though, I don't like hate spearmint, but I know it's not like my all time favorite. I'll still melt spearmint. I still have spearmint blends in my collection and like I'll still even purchase spearmint, but I do know that like peppermint, buttermint, those mints are more of like my favorite style of mint. So, you know, it was still good. I just can tell you that like I definitely lean more towards like the peppermint, buttermint types of scents, but it was still nice to try. You know, I liked this one. I love her lavender blends. So it performed really great and I did enjoy the scent while I had it. Um, This one from Brita's was like a total boomer. It was so strong. This was fabulous in my office. This is the mummy. It was in a really cute like uh, Jack Skellington had. It was so fun. I hated to cut it, but I just, I had to melt it because the scents are, like the notes in here are delicious. So it's sugar cookie dough, zucchini bread, and vanilla bean marshmallow. I have this melting right now in my office and it is so good. Like I almost hope this comes out again at some point. And if you're into zucchini bread, I highly recommend trying this scent. Oh my god, it's so good. You more, you more get the zucchini bread, but you get like that sugary note from the uh, the dough, and then it's just kind of like a nice like balance, like blended blended scent with the vanilla bean marshmallow in there too. It is so yummy. So I love that, and I would buy, I would buy like a bakery bag of that. I would buy a loaf. I would buy something. I would get more instead of just like the little size shape that I got because that was probably one of my favorites of this week. And then the last one that I finished was from Nerdy Wax Co. This is White Nectarines and Violet Petals. It's a uh, Ghost Mickey. It was like a little scent shot cup with like a little, it had a little Mickey on there. This was all right. 
out of all the scents I melted in my bathroom, this was probably my least favorite. It just was nothing spectacular, just as far as, like, performance goes. Um, I did buy two of these just because I thought the scent would be something I would enjoy. Like, the scent I do enjoy, but it just didn't perform that well, I guess. Um, it just was nothing overly exciting. I have other fresh scents that I've enjoyed a lot more this week, or this past week. So, I probably wouldn't repurchase this again. I'll definitely use up the other one I have, but... It was just okay. It wasn't anything overly, um, like, overly special and was kind of a slight letdown, but, yeah. But it's all right. You kind of, you know, wax, I feel, is kind of like a trial and error. You figure out what works, what doesn't work. So that's kind of nice, you know, just seeing, you know, what in my collection does perform better for me. So, yeah, so that is everything for this video. Not a crazy amount of um, empties by any means. I will have more coming, obviously. I have been trying to get through some more of my Halloween melting basket. But these are the items I finished up so I can go and recycle, throw these things out. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys very soon in a new video. Have a good night, guys. Bye.